Beautiful transformations are not just about having polished looks. Because beauty queens are most notably known for their mesmerizing ability to express themselves really, really well. Today is the day. Join me as we officially open up the Miss Universe Philippines 2020 preliminary competition. This is a question and answer preliminaries and this is the game changer. So my name is Cristel Abello. I'm representing the beautiful province of Baclan. I am the daughter to OFW parents, but although I was raised in the States, I was raised to be 100% Filipino. Pusong Pinoy talaga ako. What is one beautiful word in your local language? And what does it mean? One beautiful word in my language is guapa. And I think that just solidifies and represents the Aklanon trait of us Filipinos being beautiful. What one learning experience that you had as a child made much impact on you? Oh, one learning experience that I had as a child was growing up in the States. I grew up in the States, but we were very Filipino in the household, from the values that were instilled into our home, to the food that we ate, and also to the language that we speak at the, at the house. Hindi nga pumayag si mami na hindi kami magtagalog sa bahay. And through that, I really embraced and loved and learned through my culture and it really solidified my identity as a as a person as a clan as a and as a filipino what one major lesson did you learn from your experiences during this pandemic during this pandemic, I have learned the one important lesson of bayanihan. It's really important for us, mga Pilipino, to stand together, to unite together, and to extend ourselves to help each other. If you win uh, Miss Universe Philippines, how will you help your community? If I win Miss Universe Philippines, I will help my community by extending myself through the use of social media. And I want to use my platform to really use my voice to extend myself and to help my community by raising awareness. And I really want to show the people that I'm here genuine, with or without the crown, that I really want to help and instill positivity and hope with everyone. What color do you think symbolizes the phenomenon of woman? I think the color that symbolizes a phenomenal woman is a color that you feel confident in. I think that it could be any color as long as you feel proud to wear it. And if you feel beautiful in it, then I think bagay na bagay sa di pak na pak. What skills does the workplace of the future need since working from home now is the new world? So the skills that the um, that we need to have and still into our home is I think that kahit na sa bahay dapat ganado pa rin sa bahay and that we should still be appreciative of being at home and that we're still being able to given the chance to work and we should really appreciate that dapat ganado pa rin sa bahay patuloy-tuloy pa rin ang trabaho just because we are in the new normal it doesn't mean that life doesn't stop. If you have a chance to name one spot man-made or natural in your province or city that you would like to promote to the world, what would it be and why? Of course, I would, I would want to promote the beautiful island of Boracay. Of course, it is known as paradise to many. And of course, it is a place where you can just relax. And it is incomparable to other places around the world even. It is one of the most highlighted tourist destinations of the Philippines. And most importantly, I think ang pinaka-importante, ang generosity, ang hospitality ng mga aklanon. So are you bringing us? Pwede! Sige, tera. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, there's a campaign to hashtag love local. Which local product would you promote and why? Which local product I would promote? So, love local. The local product that I would promote siguro sa ngayon would probably be ang, ang food natin. I think I would want to promote our food because our food is very relevant. No matter how old, how young we are, we can all sama-sama together and it brings us all together. And lastly, what one thing should people like you, should young people like you focus on? I think what young people should focus on is believing in themselves. I think from this journey, I have learned to really believe in myself and to earn the confidence. And I think that a lot of young people, our young generation is lacking today the belief and the confidence in themselves to push themselves forward and to also uh, be positive and to uplift. If you are positive in yourself, then you can continue to uplift others. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. <laughs> okay, maraming salamat po. Thank you so much. Thank you po. <laughs> so, Miss Aklan is back from her Q&A. So, how do you think you did with your answers? Do you think you, you could have done anything differently? I probably could have been more relaxed, been more calm, and just... Bit, been a bit more still. I feel like I have I had such an adrenal rush within me that up until now I'm still kind of shaking and so all the nerves are still in me so I'm still kind of shaking so I just wish I was a little more calm and collected so that would be the only different thing. Hi, good morning. How are you? Well, of course. Okay. So I am Paula Madarit Ortega and I am pro I'm representing the home of our majestic Mayon volcano, Albay. I am a full blooded Filipina who was born and raised in Spain. I got my med lab and nurse degrees in Universidad de Barcelona, Spain. And because I love nurturing people, I love, sorry, I love helping people. And I love reaching out to them. That's why I pursued to be a nurse. So. Yeah, I love going out with my friends. I'm a social butterfly. I love dancing and Thank you. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. No, no, it's just nervousness. <laughs> Sorry, but Okay. What is one beautiful word in your language? Okay. Bicolano. Bicolano. Daragan Magayon. Daragan Magayon is actually a legend in in our Bicol area that is representing the beautiful mountains in our region. And it's about how beautiful our nature is. I think it really portrays that, and I really like that word. Daragan Magayon. Viva? What one learning experience that you had as a child made much impact on you? As a child? Well, definitely a lot, but definitely it has to be about friendship. I've realized with time, I was, I, I've always been very open to everyone, but I realized with time that you have to nurture your friendships in order to keep them and to be with them. Because if not, they will forget about you and you won't click with anymore. So yeah, friendship. Um, what one major lesson did you learn from your experiences uh, during the pandemic? Well, so many, so many. But the biggest realization is that you cannot control any, everything. There's things you can control, things you cannot control. So focus on the things you can control to improve yourself and actually make an impact to everyone. If you win the crown, um, how would you help your community? Definitely, it, it would be by promoting and advocating how important the healthcare system is. And I think now it's very relevant and timely. People have realized if we don't have a healthcare system, everything goes down. So I really want to advocate that because we it's a human right. We deserve proper health care. So you know, I would promote health care. <laughs> what color do you think symbolizes the phenomenon of woman? The colors of the Filipino flag. White, red and and blue. And gold, yeah. <laughs> I think that's a phenomenal Filipino woman. Okay, so working from home now is the new norm. I know. So, um, what skills does the workplace of the future need? What, what, do you think is the, what skills does uh, the workplace of the future need? Mm -hmm. Since everything, almost everything now is online. Uh, well, definitely having um, internet skills, computer skills, uh, it's very now important to work with um, social media, with um, platforms such as Google Meet or Zoom, and also to really work with presentations because now we cannot present with our bodies, we have to present through a screen. So we have to make our best effort to present it on different platforms such as PowerPoint or more than there's out there to show what we have. So, um, can you name one spot, whether it's man-made or natural, from Albay, mm -hmm. 
that you would like to promote to the world? I might sound cliche, but I really love, and I think it's so majestic, our Mayon volcano. It has such a perfect diamond shape, a diamond, sorry, triangle shape. It's a perfect volcano, diva. Right? And uh, the, the, what I love the most, it's still dangerous because it's still active. So that's a beauty in it. You have to take care of it and be aware of it in order to admire its beautiful, iconic figure. <laughs> Well, there's a campaign to hashtag Love Local. Mm -hmm. Which local product would you promote and why? Well, as a chocolate lover, I would promote chocolate because actually it's very, I found out it's very um, sustainable to grow cacao in our grounds and in, in our country. And for example, Davao's chocolate is amazing. I always buy local chocolate from Davao because it's really good and it's actually healthy. So best, wor best things in uh, both worlds. <laughs> And lastly, what one thing should young people like you focus on? To be truly yourself, to be, to find your values, and that is something I will always instill on. Educate yourself, work, get out there, get out of your comfort zone and find what you want to do in your life in order to influence other people to do even better. So, Jan, I want to instill that to our generation. Thank you so much for this. It was so lovely, actually. Oh, I was expecting like political questions. No, please. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. And good morning. Hope you have a great day today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, I feel so relieved right now. But the best thing is because I know I did my very best. But still, the nervousness is there. I was actually the first part. I was short of breath because I was hyperventilating from before. <laughs> but like, later, I was able to relax. How much I actually was like, breathe, relax. Just this an interview, relax. So I was able to breathe and then deliver. And I think really don't know. That's awesome. You're finally done. <laughs> just, just the beginning. <laughs> That's true. This is just the beginning. Yeah. That's right. For I am. I'm trying to. You have 30 seconds per question. First, tell us something about yourself. That's the first one. Yeah. So, I am Miss Angela City. Uh, I was born and raised in Angela City. And one interesting thing about me is I performed CPR on a dog once, and the dog lived. And I'm so proud of that because it uh, led me to. Uh, believe that I was meant to save lives and that is what uh, I'm taking right now in college a career path to towards saving lives um, what is one beautiful word in Katampangan in your local language and what does it mean the one beautiful word in Katampangan is kabalin and it is a uh, what we are called, the Kapampangans, we are called Kabalins. And I think that's a beautiful word because the Kapampangan people are beautiful people. We are so friendly, we are so diverse, we are so accepting that in Angeles City, we are like a melting pot of different um, cultures and nationalities. So not only Filipinos, but also foreign people. What one learning experience that you had as a child made much impact on you? As a child, my dad wasn't there because he was abroad working. And I grew up with my auntie. And I guess that led me to be more independent. And I think that is um, that plays a big role in how I am today. I am very independent. What one major lesson did you learn uh, mm -hmm. from your experiences during the pandemic? My grandmother died just a few weeks ago because of COVID-19. But my grandfather survived the COVID-19. And that um, taught me to make the most out of everything with uh, the people that you love. Tell them everything that you want to tell them. Um, spend time with them. Talk to them everything you want to do so that you can live your life without regret.
if you win the crown, how will you help your community? Right now, we have an ongoing project called Project Millennials PH, and this was born during the COVID-19 pandemic. And what we do is we help IP communities, not only in the province of Pampanga, but all around the Philippines. And we've been to different provinces in Luzon to help the IP communities. If I were to win the crown, I'd continue doing exactly that, because that is what's relevant right now. Um, what color do you think symbolizes the phenomenon of women? I think the color that symbolizes the phenomenal woman is blue. And to tell you the truth, blue is my favorite color. And I think it symbolizes me too. The reason for that is because a phenomenal woman is brave, but also soft. And I think blue embodies that. Can you name one spot, mm -hmm. either man-made or natural? in your city that you would like to promote to the world? To the world. Yes. Okay. Um, one spot in Angela City would be the heritage site in downtown Angela City because it's so rich in culture and history that if you go there, you don't even have to ask. It just says it right at you, na, hey, this is history, this is culture. And you can see it with your own eyes. Okay, working from home now mm -hmm. is the new norm. Yep. So what skills do you think does a workplace of the future need? Mm. I don't personally work, so I can't really speak for them. But I am a student, and we've transferred to online learning. And I think that what we need right now is, or are people who are very fluid in what they do so that they can, you know, continue doing what they do anywhere they go. Because that is what we need to adapt to the current system. Okay, next, your next question is, uh, there's a campaign to hashtag Love Local. Yes. Now, which local products would you promote and why? Um, right now, I think I would promote the Filipino fashion because, because of the pandemic, the fashion industry has um, suffered a lot, really. And I can uh, attest to this because of the designers that I've been working with in our uh, city, which is Angeles. And I would like to promote their products just to keep them going or getting back in the game again. Lastly, what do you think is one thing that young people like you should focus on? I think one thing that young people like me should focus on is achieving their goals. And that is what I'm doing right now. Doing um, school and pageantry at the same time, as well as personal life. And I, that's really challenging, but hey, I'm here right now and I am, you know, getting my goals. Well, it's been nine months, right? So I think I am ready for an interview. And um, yung iniisip ko na lang is like it's it's a job interview. So let's do this. Let's do this. Hello. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Yes. Tell us something about yourself. I'm Joselle Marie Robenta. I'm 23 years old. Um, I am representing the beautiful province of Antique. Well, personality-wise, I am an extrovert kind of person. I always, always love to go out. And um, I love the beach so much, the mountains. That's why in Antique, you can find everything there. And um, I am proud to be a registered nurse. I worked for two years in a hospital back in Cebu City. What one beautiful word in an Kinaraya. Yes. Skaraya. Our dialect.
One beautiful word. Guapa. <laughs> it's that. a beautiful word because guapa means beautiful so i can say guapa um all, every auntie kenya is really beautiful not just auntie kenya but the, all filipinas are beautiful so guapa um as a child i think it is um not Caring, not literally just not caring, but having the, um, you are always just positive in every uh, move you make. You you don't think about um, what is the consequences behind it. You're, you're just enjoying the moment. You're making the most out of everything if you're a child. So, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Um, I think it is being compassionate at all times. Because being compassion, it comprises everything already. Love, kindness, um, humility, generosity. Being compassionate leads you to um, something wonderful. Like, especially in this time of pandemic, um, everyone needs love, everyone needs um, the help of one another, so it is being compassion. If you win Miss Universe 15, how will you help your community? Um, if I want, if I win Miss Universe Philippines, I will definitely help my community by pursuing my advocacy, which is quality health care for all Filipinos. And um, it is very timely and relevant to what is happening right now because we are in the pandemic and. Um, Quality health care just doesn't mean um, we just don't want quality health care, but it is a priority and we all need quality health care. Well, working from home now is the new norm. So what skills <laughs> does the workplace of the future need? Um, I think, sir, um, simply... Work scale. <laughs> I think si simply doing chores at home is is a need, and everybody needs needs to to be clean, um, to uh, to know household, to know basic household chores because um, most millennials nowadays are on their phones, right? So um, it is one way actually by staying at home that our parents can teach us. one spot, man-made or natural, that you would like to promote from your city to the world, what would it be? I think that would be Bugasong River from Antique. Because I can say that Bugasong River is the cleanest river in the Philippines. So um, just by saying that it is the cleanest river, you can actually um, say that, oh, Antique Kenyans are really hardworking. And as well, they... Um, they are concerned of their environment. So it is Bugasong River. Color that symbolizes the phenomenal woman. I think every color. Because it's not about the color, actually. It's about you, yourself within. If you are a phenomenal, phenomenal woman, then you can wear any color because you are phenomenal. Well, there's a campaign to hashtag local. Okay, yes. So what local product would you promote and why? Um, in Antique, of course, our local product is Patadyong, the weaving art of Patadyong. And um, you can really see that Patadyong is just a simple kind of cloth, but the hard work of the Antiqueños by making it, it is it what makes it beautiful. What is one thing that young people like you should focus on? I think one thing that young people like me should focus on is not, um, you should not kowtow to the society. You should not, um, you should not follow what 
is the typical stereotype of the society because you are unique. You are you. You have to be proud of who you are. You have to be authentic at all times. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think the people supporting you right now are really proud of you. Oh. But all I can say is, um, to all Andy Kenyans, I really did my best. And I hope I will make you proud. <laughs> You're on your home court right now. How do you feel? Well, I really feel happy that we're making history in the place that I'm representing. This is the first ever Miss Universe Philippines, and it just makes me feel... feel so proud that we'll also get to show the universe how beautiful it really is here in the summer capital of the Philippines. And maybe next year, we'll never know, maybe it can also be held in Batanas, which is my roommate's place, um, to promote the whole Philippines to the universe. Good morning. My name is Bea Teresa Peralta Mainiga, and I'm representing the summer capital of the Philippines, Baguio City. Welcome to Baguio. Welcome to Baguio. <laughs> so you have 30 seconds. Tell us something about yourself. Wow, okay. Um, I actually grew up in Pangasinan, and I studied here in Baguio, and that's when I was discovered. Um, I never actually thought that I would be doing this, um, the pageant um, thing, but Baguio just opened so many doors for me. Um, when I was in college, um, somebody invited me to join a pageant, and I was hesitant at first, but then I was just being my curious self who wanted to try new right. things. Um, what's the one beautiful word, word in your la local language and what does it mean? Well, uh, I think um, one beautiful word in the local language of Baguio is Bagtit, which means crazy. <laughs> because I think in life we need to um, not be serious all the time. We need to have fun. So we have to be crazy in love, crazy in our our aspirations in life, and we had to crazily work hard for the things we want to happen in our lives. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Bagtit. Next question. Um, what one learning experience that you had as a child made much impact? I think the one learning experience that, as a child, um, it's learning to go out of your box. Um, it's not because you were raised of this particular way. You have to be that for the rest of your life. You can explore, you can be more. And, and that's what I learned. And that's why I've, I've decided to advocate for equality because before, uh, I've experienced not being that same opportunity as others. Um, what one major lesson did you learn from your experiences during the pandemic? The major experience that I've learned uh, during the pandemic is that I learned that I am strong. Um, in this pageant, um, we've we've been here for eight months already, and I, and I've faced challenges that I never thought that I would overcome, and. It's surprising that I'm still here in front of you, um, still fighting for the Miss Universe Philippines crown. And yeah, that's what, that's why I'm really proud of myself because after all that happened, uh, yeah. You only have 30 seconds for If you win the crown, how would you help your if I will win the first ever Miss Universe Philippines crown, it would be such a big 
honor and responsibility not only for me but also for the people around me. Um, whenever I join a pageant, I always make sure to take the opportunity to make a difference not only for myself but also for the people around me and to always make an impact where it counts in the eyes of God. What color do you think symbolizes the phenomenon of woman? I, I believe that the color that symbolizes a phenomenal woman is color white because a phenomenal woman is pure and pure in her intentions, pure in, in everything. Um, she is real. She's pure. She's real. And she is not pretending to be anyone. She is a phenomenal because she is a woman. And the woman is pure. <laughs> Um, now that we are in, this, in the beautiful city Baguio, um, name one spot, whether it's man-made or natural, that you would like to promote to the world. Um, the, that one spot that I would choose is something that I'm not sure if uh, if it still needs promoting, but I would choose Burnham Park because Burnham Park, though. You often hear it. It's the place for all people. Um, if you visit the Burnham Park, you will see kids um, playing in the playground. Um, um, even teenagers would um, um, ride the boat or go biking. You know, even our titas and lolas are doing zumba sa Burnham Park. So Bye. yes. <laughs> Next time, mag-zumba tayo doon. Oo nga po. <laughs> okay, so, um, what, what skills does the workplace of the future need? Since work from home is the new norm. So, what are the skills you think is needed now in the workplace? Other than dedication, I think it's confidence. Conf confidence is the most important skill that any person should have. Um, we will face challenges in our lives. That's why it's very important that we have confidence in ourselves, confidence in what we do, so that we'll be able to overcome everything that we will face. There's a campaign that's hashtag love local. So what local products would you promote and why? I would promote the Wallis here in <laughs> <laughs> I think it's very well promoted also even worldwide because um, the Wallis, um, it's used for cleaning. So um, it's very important that we keep our surrounding, surroundings clean. It's, it's a, um, com uh, we should have a combined effort in protecting our nature, protecting our environment. And yeah, that's why I choose Wallis. <laughs> And last question is, what one thing should young people like you focus on? That one thing that we should focus on is self-love, actually. Um, in this world where you will be, where there will be a lot of people who will ask you to be someone who you're not, um, you have to always go back to who you are. You need to love yourself. Because if you do not love yourself, you won't be able to love others. You won't be able to serve others and the people around you. That's why it's very important to self-love. <laughs> Welcome to Baguio City. <laughs> yes. Up there, I was just being myself. Um, I was answering from the heart. So the secret is just to not pretend to be anyone and just be yourself and you'll be successful. <laughs> Yeah, cargo vessel. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you know the drill. Is this on? Per, yeah, 30 seconds per question or statement. Mm -hmm. So in 30 seconds, tell us something about yourself. Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm Jan Alexis Alcano. I am an Ivatan, an indigenous person, and I am a painter and a freelance makeup artist as well. So I'm very much into the visual arts. And the thing about it is that I can trigger 
people's emotions just by targeting their sense of sight. And I think that's very cool. <laughs> um, what is one beautiful word in Ibatan? Um, magsal or ichagsal. That means you are proud of who you are and of where you come from. So me, ichagsal ku, kaibatan ku, I am proud of being an Ibatan. Um, what is that wondering experience that you had as a child that made so much impact on you? Sorry? One? One learning experience, learning that, experience. Had as a child that made so much I think as a child, because I'm the eldest um, child in the family, and I had to learn to be responsible at an early age. So that is my learning experience. My whole childhood, I was taught to be responsible at an early age, to be independent, and to know how to take care of my own self. And then, uh, what is that uh, one major lesson that you learned from your experience during the pandemic? One major lesson would be that Anything can happen. So we have to expect the unexpected all the time. And so we must live in the moment, be who we are and where we are and enjoy that. Um, maximize everything that we have right now and just learn to enjoy life as it is. If you win the crown, how will you help your Okay, so if I win the crown as an indigenous person and coming from a humble background, I know what it's like to be deprived of opportunities. Now, it took a lot of courage, rejections, and struggles. So if I win Miss Universe Philippines, I would use this perfect platform to be able to help create more opportunities to raise projects for my fellow indigenous people so that no one else would have to struggle for an opportunity anymore. What color do you think symbolizes the phenomenal woman? The phenomenal woman. I think that would be blue because it's vibrant. It, it's strong color, but it also looks calm at the same time. So th I think that's what a phenomenal, sh phenomenal woman should be. You should stay composed. You should be calm all the time, but you are strong and powerful. You know, Batanes is one place that I've been wanting to go, but yeah. never had the chance. Mm -hmm. So, if you get that, what spot, <laughs> what place you, uh, in Batanes you'd like to promote in the world to know? Okay, so... Um, every corner you turn in Bat Batanes is unique. And I'm not saying this because I come from there, but it's true. But my favorite spot would be Marlboro Country, or in locally we call it Raku Apayaman, which means um, wide pasture. And the thing is, it really is wide, and you can see the Pacific Ocean, you can see the beautiful Mount Iraya, um, the hills, rolling hills, and also... the cows and carbos grazing the grass, I think it's, yeah. It's that beautiful. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pero, ano na, I can envision it from yes. what you've been saying. Yes. So, ano naman, um, on the other side naman, no, in the real world now, no, so, in the new norm, it's uh, work from home. Yes. So, what do you think are the skills that we need um, to be able to, you know, adapt to this new norm, to this new workplace of the future. So, any more new skills? Any more skills? Uh, definitely, we have to learn how to be flexible with our skills, um, time management, definitely, and how to juggle between your personal life and your work. So, we have to learn how to set our focus because there's going to be a lot of distractions because we're in, in a new setting a new environment. So you have to learn how to set your focus on a specific goal that you want to achieve. There's a campaign to hashtag love mm -hmm. 
what local product could you promote and why? Okay, so while I was in Batanas, I recently did a shoot for a turmeric tea. So I think that's what I want to promote. Because uh, nowadays, um, with the virus going around and still in our country, it's still prominent. So I think I'd like to promote that, the turmeric tea, because it has benefit, good benefits for the body, as well as um, boosting our immune system, which is very essential nowadays. Lastly, you mentioned focus earlier. What is that one thing you think that young people should focus on? One thing that young people should focus on, that would be their purpose. Because right now, we all need to focus on our purpose. We all need to unite to make this world a better place because we really need um, the cooperation, the unity, we don't need the indifference, the hate. We have to disregard all our differences to be able to unite. That's all. Thank you. I'd like you to tell your story lang of how you came to Manila. Okay. Can you say that like, in a few lines lang? How a few the lines. The struggle of traveling to Manila and um, this is not part of the question. So mm -hmm. yeah. for the, okay. I can read your story. Okay. So, um, I was all set and booked for a flight on the October 7th. But a few days prior to my flight, um, there was a confirmed or recorded case, first ever recorded case of COVID in Batanes. So with that, the next day, the government decided to impose new guidelines for the province, and that included um, banning all commercial flights. So that means my flight was canceled, and I was actually fretting <laughs> because there's no other way out of the province than air transportation. So we immediately, um, I contacted, I personally reached out to Sir Jonas so that I could have a letter sent to our governor and to the Coast Guard because we need their permission for me to be able to board a cargo vessel because it's not really allowed for a passenger to board a cargo vessel for security and safety purposes. But this, that's the only choice that I had and it was a risk that I was willing to take I was actually scared of deep waters, but I had to disregard all the fears just so I can get here to where I am right now, standing in front of all of you. Why is it important for you to come here? Because this serves a great purpose for me, being here, a contender of Miss Universe Philippines and representing Batanes. We rarely get to represent Batanes in a pageant, national pageant scene. And I would like to promote not just Batanes as a place, but the Ivatans. I want to embody that resilience that we speak of. And I want to prove to people that we really are who we claim to be, resilient people. I thank my um, fellow Ivatans. They're the ones who inspire me. I draw my strength from them, and they're the ones who encourage me to keep on fighting through this journey. Basically, I just want to make my province proud hope they will be with my performance in the Q&A. So for today's performance, sino yung inspiration mo? For today is my mom kasi um, she, yung message niya agad yung nabungadan ko when I wake up. Sabi niya, um, na kaya mo yan. Um, um, malalampas na mo yan. Just be yourself. <laughs> Hi! Hello po. Yes po. Okay, well. Yes, well. Tell us something about yourself. Okay, hello, po. I am Abuhay. I am Natalia Urusha, po. I am from the province of Batangas, po, and I am born and raised, po, sa Patabungkay Beach Resort. Uh, po, we, we also have our own cottage po. Then, doon po kami kumukuha din ng aming mga pinag... pinag for everyday po namin. Anong magandang salita sa ng Batanggenyo na gusto mong sabihin? At, uh, uh, for Batanggenyo po na salita, it's more on Filipino po talaga na language. Like, more on po kasi kami sa punto. Like, siguro po, ano, kaganda-ganda re. Like, 
picture. Oh, ang ganda mo. Kaganda ba ng binibining, are? Yung ganyan po. Like, more on punto ka. May yung ad po namin ng mga four puntos nga po. So, yun. So, yun nga. Then, then the reason why po, kaya pag minsan, may mga, may mga batang ganyan na. If pupunta sila ng Manila, or for for a school po like me po na college po ako sa Paranaque so may mga batang ganyan na okay sorry nagpapalit ng like okay next question something about your past so what one learning experience that you had as a child that made so much impact um, i am from a broken family so na uh, kaya ko pong maging more on kaya ko maging independent in the young age so I'm become a working student po, nagwo-work po ako eh, while nag-school. So, naging independent po talaga ako, naging strong independent woman po ako in a young age. Yes, uh, so what one major lesson uh, did you learn? Um, this, pandemic. Uh, this pandemic. I learned po na kailangan yung, yung mga mahal po na sa buhay, kailangan nag-attach po tayo sa kanila within... And also po yung faith po natin kay God, yung faith po natin na we can through with this, with this pandemic, with this, ano po, with this, um, with this, um, oh wait, um, with this, um, yung mga problema po natin yung kailangan po talaga may faith tayo kay God and we can come forward po. If you win the crown, uh, how will you help your community? Um, if I will win the crown po, um, I would like to use my voice po para po yung sa mga kagaya ko po I am from a poor family po so I would like to 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 help my tourist tourist nation which is Matabungkay Beach Resort na mas maggrow po yung mga tourist spot po yung ay yung mga marine conservation which is my advocacy I want to help my I want to help my my beach po uh, with it, not not my beach lang po but with all the Philippines po. What color do you think symbolizes the phenomenon of woman? Um, for me po is white because po um, white um, is like optimistic po pagiging and also it helps uh, it um, I think po white then the help po it will help uh, it looks like uh, being a strong independent woman. Yun lang po. Um, di ba narinig natin ngayon kadalasan yung salitang work from home? Work from home, okay. Di ba narinig natin ngayon? Ano sa palagay mo yung skills na kailangan natin i-develop sa, sa makabagong norm na to okay. sa, 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 place, sa workplace natin, sa trabaho natin? Ano yung mga skills na kailangan natin? Okay po. I believe po and I also need po I is yung communication skill po. Ayun po, medyo nahihirapan pa din po ako sa communication skills po. Pero, but I really need to develop and the other po ng communication skill and the, the technology po, kung paano po nila handle yung technology, yung then, then yung the new normal po, ayun po, kaya. Oh, sige, ito naman. On the lighter side. Okay po. Anong lugar Anong spot, man-made, man or natural okay. sa Batangas ang ipopromote mo? Okay pa, it's Balsa po. Yun po yung festival namin, Balsa Festival. Every April po, nag, uh, nagsa-celebrate po kami na Balsa Festival. So I want to promote as a local po from Batangas, I want to promote our Balsa Festival and our Balsa, the floating raft. Oh, po punta po kayo. Maghahanda po ako para sa si inyo. <laughs> Opo. Oh, Magbalsa po tayo doon, then mag barbecue. Yes po. Nakita mo na may hashtag na love local. Opo, oh, love local po talaga. Anong local shop ang gusto mo i-promote? Ang gusto po talaga i-promote is BB. Uh, if you handicraft po or food po ng mga Batangay nyo or na, ng Pilipinos po. Because we all know as globally, ano po, artistic. Last question na lang. Sa tingin mo, saan dapat mag-focus ang mga young people like you? Anong sa'kin dapat? Uh, I believe po dapat po mag-entrepreneur po tayo. 
for me po kasi po I'm I'm doing my online business po my event po I'm freelance also freelance model so I want to um to know po na mga uh, youth like me po na kailangan mas enhance po sila sa entrepreneur po and the business para in the young age po hindi po sila mas mas ano sa family nila o sa parents nila for financial support ayun po Thank you po. Thank you so much po. Punta po kayo sa piyesta namin. <laughs> yes po, Matangas. Okay, we are with Miss Biliran right now. How are you doing? I'm feeling good. Actually, I felt nervous a while ago, but seeing my sisters when they're all done and relaxed and they're happy, it's like their good vibes like went into me and I'm, I'm excited to go inside right now. Good morning. Uh, yes, po. Uh, I got tired because I got lost along the way. So, in rule 30 seconds lang for answers. Starting with, tell us something about your family. So, good morning, everyone. I am Skelly Ivy, Florida. And I am an only child. I grew up without a father. And I was also raised by a single mother. When I was a child, honestly, I experienced being bullied. But because of how my mother raised me, I know that I should be confident with myself. And with that, I know that she raised me to become a better person right now. And that's why I am also here. I think it's guapa. It means beautiful because it really gives confidence to, especially the ladies, the ladies who don't feel confident with themselves. And when you say it to them, like you say, hello, guapa, and then they just smile and then they think that they're really beautiful. You are beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's as I said a while ago, I experienced being bullied and I overcome that. And now that I am confident with myself, I also want others to feel the same way too to be, uh, for me to be an inspiration to others now that I am here. Something more recent. So what is the most important lesson you learned during the pandemic? I think the most important lesson I've learned is patience. Because everything right now is delayed. And right now, we need to be patient on the specific goals that we want to go, or wherever we want to go. And now that if we really have patience, we know that we can achieve those goals that we want to do in the near future. If you win Miss Universe Philippines, how will you help your community? Winning Miss Universe, I mean, it's being a voice, a spokesperson, and a symbol of hope to everyone. And also an in, as an influencer, I'm going to use this because I know that I can communicate to different organizations with the things that I can do, especially during this pandemic, to help uh, people who really need help in these times of the pandemic. And that's all. What color do you think symbolizes the phenomenal woman? It's yellow because it's bright. And you can really see it that easily. You mentioned about being an influencer. Um, what, um, can you name a spot, or um, whether it's a man-made or natural spot in Biliran, that you would like to promote to the world? I would think of Tomalistis Falls 
It's located in the Kaibiran place in Biliran. It is actually known as the world's uh, sweetest water in the Guinness Book of World Records before. So I really want people to go there and really taste the water in there so that they would know how sweet it is. I mean, I've been there and I really love it in there because it's like a waterfall near the ocean. So it's like you're going to swim in the waterfalls and then it's the ocean right there. <laughs> We've been hearing the word work from home these past few months. What do you think are the skills that an individual or a person should develop in what we call the workplace of the future? I think the skills that we develop there is it's like you learn more, especially on the techie stuff in the computer, especially in the old generation that they have less uh, knowledge about that. And I think it's a, one of the good things that people should learn about, especially for the older generations. And it is one of the things that the younger generations could have more, um, ah, sorry. <laughs> At least you have more bondings with the younger generations. <laughs> they can teach you. <laughs> yes. You know, there's a campaign, uh, hashtag love local. Yes. But so what local products would you want to promote and why? It's the food. We have there a suman. Our suman is kind of different because we have like different flavors. Like we have mango, chocolate, ube. And I think that's kind of unique. That's one of the unique stuff in Biliran. And last, lastly, what is that one thing that you think young people like you should focus on? I think people, young people like me should focus on our future goals because we need to set something that we think that's good for us and not just for us but also for the community. We need not to think about ourselves only but especially now in the pandemic, we need to like help one another so that we can be better in the near future. Thank you. Thank you. Interesting. Um, it's really interesting. It's really great there. 21. Um, I'm just waiting for the graduation because it's pending because of the pandemic. Bawal po kasi face-to-face na events in our place pa. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Who among the past Queens, do you draw inspiration from? The past queens, I really draw inspiration from Miss Venus Ra. I had the pleasure of meeting her once, and uh, she's a very religious person. That's something I really got from our meeting. And at the end of that day, she prayed over all of us, and she had the power to make me cry with her prayer. And I really want to be able to somehow use my words to also touch other people's lives. So, Venus Ra, definitely. I'm going to make the judges cry. <laughs> make them cry, make them cry. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. So, I don't say the second room. Yes, I was informed by Angel. Even if, even with the first question I'll ask you, tell us something about yourself. Hello, my name is Pauline Cucharo Amlings. I'm your Boholana Belgian from, of course, the beautiful province of Bohol. My dad is a Belgian and I'm Filipina, so I'm like a mix of both cultures in one, and I'm very excited to be here today. Um, what is one beautiful word in your local language, and what does it mean? I would like to choose the word pohon. It means hopefully. It's a word that we use whenever we talk about something that is going to happen in the future. Like, I'm going to join Miss Universe Philippines, pohon, hopefully, with God's blessing. What is that one learning experience that you had as a child? That made much impact. One learning experience I had as a child was that I had to not be shy when it comes to myself and when it comes to my body. 
and my capacities. I was very shy, always in the corner. But my mom and my dad always kept telling me, you have to really be out there. That's the only way for you to grow. That's the only way for you to shine. And then, uh, what is that one major lesson that you learned uh, during this I think I learned so many things from cooking to, to planting. But I think one thing that I really learned is how interconnected everything really is. From the animal world to the human world, from communities, interprovince. And I think that that just reminds me of the fact that we all play a part in fighting this pandemic and that we can all rise together. If you were the crown, how would you help your community? I would want to be a spokesperson and a rallying point to bring people together in meaningful conversation and together look for solutions. And I think that with this platform of influence, that's something I can really do. Oh, uh, what color symbolizes the phenomenal moment? Oh, that's very interesting. For this moment, I would like to choose pink. Pink is the color that would symbolize me as a phenomenal woman. And uh, pink is also something that you will have to watch out for during my, uh, my performances for a preliminary or evening gown. I'm not going to mention which one, but I'll just tell you that. And it's also my favorite color. I have an emotional relation with that color because every time my dad would give me gifts, it would always be something pink. Um, I'm excited to see all your pink colors <laughs> in the next few days. Yes. And I'm also excited to find out. No? Yeah. So if given a chance to promote to the world a spot, whether man-made or natural in Bohol, mm -hmm. what would it be? I would have to choose the Lobok River Cruise. The Lobok River, I don't know if you've tried it. I hope that you've had it. You tried it? So hopefully then you agree with me. The Lubbock River Cruise is really one of the more amazing things that you can do in Bohol. It's not just good food. It's not just you being on that river cruise. But it allows you to interact with the locals in dance and in song. And every time I'm there, I always make it a point for me to dance at Tinikling with the locals, even though I risk getting my, my feet hurt with the bamboo. But it's really one of the things I would want everyone to know about here in Bohol. Um, let's go to the work side now. That, uh, that's recreation. Now let's go to the work side. We've been hearing the word work from home. Yes. So what do you think are the skills that we need to uh, develop for the workplace of the future, as we call it? Whew, I have worked from home also during during the first few months of the pandemic. I'm sorry, it's a bit cold. During the first few months of the pandemic. And I think patience is one thing that we all need to work on on ourselves, especially with the internet connection that we have at home. There are so many times that I've had meetings and then my internet connection would fade out and then I wouldn't hear the rest of it. I think patience above everything else is something that we need to work on. And from then on, we at least have the clear mind to work on everything else. <laughs> There's a campaign called hashtag not local. Okay. So if you had a local product that you had to promote, what would it be about? It would definitely be Rafia from Tubigan Loom Weavers. I'm not wearing it at the moment. I will be wearing it for one of the segments. For one of the segments. So one of the things that I would also look forward to seeing. Definitely, oh, yes. Oh, I'm not going to indulge any more information about that. But Rafia is really a product that's from my hometown in Tubigan. And it really takes so many people to make uh, a raffia a raffia roll and there's so much thought and effort that goes into it and it's a beautiful product with so uh, many possibilities what is that what is one thing that you think young people should focus on at the moment it's really staying strong and continuing their their dreams of educating themselves even during these pandemic times we all are having a hard time but that doesn't mean that our dreams, our passions are canceled. They're just on hold. And I think that they all need to have hope in their hearts to continue what they're dreaming on and to somehow make their dreams still come true. Thank you. Thank you, too. Thank you. It's Igorot inspired. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Not very warm indeed. Uh, I'll take that into consideration next time. <laughs>
I think I did pretty well. I just wish someone told me it wasn't a closed door interview. It was an outdoor interview. So cold. That was my only that was my only concern. But for the rest, I, I loved talking to them. I'm okay naman po. <laughs> Um, the Q&A, you can use Tagalog, if you want to use Tagalog, you can use English, if you want to use English, you can use English, you can use English, you can use English. How about Taglish? Okay. 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 <laughs> so, and you know the rule is 30 seconds for statement or answer. <laughs> okay. So, tell us something about yourself in 30 seconds. Okay. So, so I'm really a creative person. I love to paint, I love to dance, and that's why my advocacy is related to arts. And my advocacy is about relieving the culture, history, and arts of the Philippines. And I love dancing talaga. So, sorry, I can read. It's really tiring <laughs> to come up here. And I really noticed that a lot of children nowadays are not aware of our folk dances, so that's why I chose this advocacy, and I'm a third-year college student taking up the course of dentistry. Okay. Okay. Can I breathe more? It's really tiring. Uh, what is one beautiful word in your local, in Tagalog? Ano maganda yung salita sa Tagalog? And what does it mean? Mm, it would have to be um, Bulakenya. Because being a Bulakenya is very unique. Um, as a w modern woman, ano, unique to the kami, And I think this is one of our characteristics that made us, ano, kakaiba sa ibang lugar. And, <laughs> um, we are very religious, but at the same time, we have strong values. And I think this is the word that best describes us. Right. Okay. Next question. Uh, what is that one learning experience? One learning experience that you had as a child that means so much in Tamil? Um, I think that would be because of when I was a child, I used to play a lot and I trip a lot. So my mom would always tell me, Dianella, you have to get back on your feet kasi walang tutulong sa'yo kundi ikaw lang. So, I think this is the lesson that I still had with me till today that no matter what hardships I face in life, I still stand up and rise up. The so next question is, what is that one major lesson that you learned uh, during the pandemic? I think one lesson that I learned during the pandemic is to always stay safe and healthy because we all know that our health is very important and ayun naman natin na sumunod sa ating mga mahal na buhay na, na mayapa na. So we have to follow the protocols of the government and stay safe. If you win the crown, how will you help your community? If I win the crown, I would use this platform para promote ang aking province, Bulacan, and it would really help a lot, especially in our tourism, and I think it would be a great opportunity for us to showcase what we have in Bulacan, our products, the people, and the talents that we have. The Tilimo, what color symbolizes the phenomenal woman? I think it would be the color I'm wearing right now. It's color white, it's classy, and simple. Okay, so you mentioned earlier that you um, you want to promote Bulacan. No? So if there is one spot, man-made or natural, that uh, you would like to promote to the world, mm. what would it be? There's so many places that I want to promote in Bulacan. And recently, I had a photo shoot, and you're familiar with it. The body of water shoot, and it's in Doña Remedios Trinidad, and hindi ko alam na may waterfalls pala kami, and it's really breathtaking there, and you can just feel the nature. Gusto ko talagang bumalik doon, and I hope you can experience it as well. Let's go! <laughs> After this pandemic, sure. let's go.
<laughs> Kung yung nakalimbaryo. Just slide me a DM. <laughs> so, yeah, that's one place that I'd like to see. Um, On the, on the work side naman, we've been, you know, we've been hearing the word work from home, uh, online business and all. So what do you think would be, what would the skills that we need to develop for what we call work from home, which is like uh, the workplace of the future? So ano yung skills na kailangan natin to develop para I think if you're working, Working from home, you really have to be determined. Because I think that sobrang hirap talaga ng panahon natin ngayon, and we really need to be determined in our jobs, and we just have to focus on our goals and aspirations in life para magcontinue po tayo. Make make campaign na hashtag love local. If you were to promote a local product, what what would it be and why? Oh, it would have to be. My bag that I'm wearing in this brooch, if you can see my bag, it's made from buntal material, which is famous in our place in Baliwag, Bulacan. And this one, as you can see, it's a Philippine flag with a South Sea pearl. Um, gawa po siya sa Mekawayan, Bulacan, and yun po yung place na kilala kung saan yung mga alahero ay sobrang sikat po. What, last question na, what is okay. one thing that you think young should focus on? I think one thing young people should focus on is their education kasi ito yung pinaka-importante sa kanilang buhay. Dito po yung panggagalingan ng mga dreams nila, goals nila, and I think they need to focus on that because that is their key to their future. Very good. You're done your You like it? I think I did great naman sa Q&A kanina, but on the first question, I was really ca catching my breath. Kasi ang layo na nilakad namin, and I was like, can I breathe muna? And, and thankfully, it did great naman. Um, I always pray, especially when I just wake up. To have a good sense of humor. I got that from um, St. Francis, Pope Francis rather, um, because I think it's important that before you step out of the door, that you have this um, positive aura and that when you go out, you can share your wit, your comedy, and just good vibes. Uh, morning workout. <laughs> Um, ano, parang good for a morning jog. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you know the drill. 30 seconds. Uh, Filipino or Filipino English if you want to. Um, 30 seconds for a statement or answer. First question is, or a statement, tell us something about it uh, in 30 seconds. Hi everyone, I'm Danica Madrid Reynes. I'm 28 years old. I'm passionate about music. I'm a singer performer. I represented the Philippines in the World Championships of Performing Arts in Hollywood, California. And uh, it, it's like a Olympics for talent. And I'm also passionate about travel. I'm a former overseas Filipino worker as an international flight attendant based in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And that gave me the chance to travel and to support my family financially. And I met people from different walks of life. Para naman hindi kami mag-war buong araw na magtatanong, kanta ka naman konti. Sa sample na ito. You are the universe And there is nothing you can do If you go Conceive it, you can achieve it. That's why I believe in you. Yes, I do. Here's your recording concert. Oh, perfect choice. So, 
Pero you're not from Cagayan Tawag, Lolo mo nandiyan. Lolo mo? Uh, my mother is from uh, Gonzaga, Cagayan Tawag. Pero may alam ka na uh, local na language, local words. Yung alam ko pong uh, Ilocano words is yung every time pinapagalitan ako ng nanay ko, yun Ilocano. <laughs> so I need one beautiful word in your local language and what does it mean? Agyamanak Apo. <laughs> Salamat, Diyos. <laughs> It's beautiful. Agyamanak <laughs> means salamat. Okay. About your childhood naman, what is that uh, learning experience that you had as a child that made so much impact on you? When I was a child, my parents brought me and my wa- my brother with them in a remote municipality in Visayas. So they went on a medical mission that went for a few years. I was still a toddler that time, and uh, that's life changing for me because at a very young age, I was a- I was able to experience that humble life. Uh, no e- electricity at night, chickens everywhere. It is a remote municipality, and so growing up, I aspire to be like my parents. Sorry. What is that most important lesson that you learned uh, during this pandemic? I've learned how to be grateful each day. Like today, today is a great day to be alive. So, and I've learned not to take things for granted. Like for example, my loved ones, I already miss them. So every kiss, every touch, every small conversations that you have with them, don't take it for granted. And also, in for the society, I've learned that it doesn't discriminate. So. Why do that to your brothers and sisters? I've learned a lot. If you win, Philippines, how will you help your community? I uphold uh, music and arts therapy. Um, I believe in the power of our skills and talents because um, I know that we have to give importance to our mental health because it's just as important as physical health. And so for the youth, whenever they use their talents to empower themselves, they will channel their energy into that straight path and they will be away from the bad influences of life. So I think that we must empower the youth with their talents. What do you think, what color do you think uh, symbolizes the phenomenon? Color? Yeah. The color red. <laughs> because I think red is the universal color for love. and if For a phenomenal woman, you should be filled with love, love not just for yourself, for God, for family, for everyone, because the universe is so vast. And I think that Miss Universe Philippines must have a spacious space of her heart to give to everyone. Speaking of space, you know, we've been um, hearing the word work from home. Ito na yung, ito yung natin recently. So what, what skills do you think we need for this, uh, for the so-called work from home, which is the workplace of the future. Um, I always see my father working from home because he's one of the vulnerable groups. So he must stay at home. And I saw that since he is so used to working with other people, I saw how he adjusted very well. So I think we must do the same. Whatever work we have, we must be very adapted to our environment. We must not be choosy. We must be thankful that we are alive and with our families. So I think that any skills would also be enhanced when you're in a quarantine working from home, such as cooking, gardening, plantita. <laughs> Um, can you name one spot, whether man-made or natural, uh, in your province that you would like to promote to the world? You guys should go to Kalau Cave. So it's composed of seven chambers. So you can just imagine. And then I went to this main cave. It has a natural dent. So you don't need any electricity because the sunlight will go directly there. And then there's an altar, there's a grotto, and you can even have weddings there. So it's very natural, um, energy-saving location. <laughs> and I hope that it will be very famous soon all over the world. There's a campaign called uh, Hashtag Love Local. So what local product would you want to promote and why? There's this uh, local product from my childhood, and up to now, it's still my favorite, the Carabao uh, sweet candy. Mm-hmm. 
I think it should be distributed to the whole world because uh, it's actually um, the asset of Cagayan province because we produce uh, not just ag agricultural products, we also have the livestock products. And one of those, of course, is from the Carabao. So I know you guys have already tried that, but I think the whole world must try that too. <laughs> <laughs> Last question is, what one thing do you think should young people focus on? Young people like you. Young people like me? <laughs> I think since we have pandemic and since uh, most people are now at home and um, they are really relying on internet and everything. I think we must not cancel special education. We must not cancel our work, education, and all our priorities even before the pandemic. Because even though that we have this um, pandemic all around us, life is not canceled. And we must go on because there's always hope. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I feel so happy. I feel so happy. I didn't expect those questions coming, but um, I'm just so thrilled uh, and excited for the next rounds. <laughs> Do you think it is enough to get you to the top 15? I pray that it will be enough. So yes, amen. <laughs> FA look. <laughs> My specialty. Oh, can I can I move this? Yeah, okay. Hi. 30 seconds for question from us. The first one would be, can you tell us more about yourself? Okay, so Marayna Aga, sa Indugabos. I'm Chrysaline Moreno. You can call me Kia. I'm 25 years old, and I'm representing my beautiful province of Camarines Sur. I graduated Manya Cum Laude from the University of Santo Tomas. I took up travel management because it has been a childhood dream of mine. to become a flight attendant. So now, sorry, the stairs, really, it's hard. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm working as a flight Thank attendant you. for Cebu Pacific. <laughs> um, what is one beautiful word in your local language? One beautiful word. It's magayon. Actually, it, it literally means beautiful. And for me, um, magayon does not mean being beautiful physically, but also inside. When you say someone is magayon, um, she or he is beautiful inside and outside. I so I, you of course you are. <laughs> we are all magayon. <laughs> Bagpit. 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 Aragon. It's Aragon in Bicol. Another word, very beautiful word. It means strong and palaban, oragon. <laughs> One learning experience. Um, I really value education. I am an overachiever ever since I was a little kid. So I really try to do my best in terms of my studies. The, that's why I was able to graduate with Latin honors because um, I value the gift of education given to me by my parents because I believe that this will pave the way for me to get more opportunities in life, to, to reach my dream. So this, um, through education, I was able to learn a lot of things and, Hi. yeah. So what about in this pandemic, uh, what is the most important lesson that you learned? The most, no, the most important lesson that I've learned in this pandemic is the value of helping one another and compassion and solidarity. I am very proud that Filipinos, us Filipinos, are were, uh, were able to show the spirit, the true spirit of Bayanihan through helping one another, even if we are, own, we are struggling in our own ways and we are helping one another in our little ways. And I believe that there is, there is hope in unity and solidarity. Philippines, how will you help your community? 
I can be able to be of help to my community in a lot of ways. First of all, I will be a spokesperson to the causes that the organization is pushing for and to my cause, which is pushing for responsible tourism. It is mainly educating people on how they can become responsible travelers as well as locals. I believe it's very timely and relevant that we instill in us the values of responsibility, discipline, and respect because it is how we will progress as a nation. What color do you think uh, symbolizes the phenomenon woman? A color that symbolizes the phenomenal woman is, for me, it's color white. Um, white for me is very simple. You know, you don't have to be phenomenal. You don't have to be extravagant. You just have to be simple and pure and clean. As the color white. Um, a lot of people are doing work from home now. Yeah. So what do you think um, are the skills needed for what you call the workplace of the future? Yeah, for me, it's very important that you know technical skills. Of course, you have to be acquainted with how you use the computer. It's hard to work from home if you're not used to using the computer. And of course, you have to know how to talk to people, to communicate, because most of the time now we are using Zoom, and you have to be able to know how to talk, to converse with people, and to communicate with them, to be effective. If there's one spot man made for natural in Camarines work that you would like to promote to the world, what would it be? Of course, definitely. I would like to promote Karamoan Islands. It's one of the beautiful islands that I've been to in, in the Philippines. You know, I've been to a lot of places here in the Philippines, and Karamoan Islands is really magnificent. Um, it's a group of islands where we have white sand beaches, we have cliffs where, where you can climb, we have a lot of tourist destinations where you can island hop or extreme adventure. So I would really like to promote Karamoan. It's also very famous. in Camarines Sur. There's a campaign uh, to hashtag love local. What yeah. local product would you like to promote and why? Local product in Camarines Sur that I would want to promote is the Pili Nut. Um, we are very famous for that. Um, we we have been the province that is abundantly producing pili nuts, and for me, it's it's very it's very timely that we promote that because you know to harvest the pili nut, it's 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 not easy. It takes a lot of time to produce just the pili nut itself, and it's also very healthy and it's delicious as well. I I, I hope you had tried it. <laughs> Your last question is, what do you think young people should focus on? I think young people should focus on their dreams. They should have, uh, they should know what their purpose, their passion in life is, because that will drive them to what they want to achieve in life. And they should focus on on making themselves better and turning their their weaknesses into their advantages. So, uh, I think I think that the youth should should focus on on themselves and to become responsible citizens in our community. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. It's really an honor and pleasure to be in front of you. <laughs> Thank you. Just my best. Who would you say was your inspiration for your performance today? Of course, it would be my supporters, especially my family, because if it weren't for them, I would not have this strength and this clear mind because they, they are really my inspiration. I want to succeed because of them, because their success is not just for me, but it will also be for them. The first batch of candidates has finally cracked the first round of Q&A preliminaries. More than just enduring through the first round of nerve-wracking interviews with grace and conviction, we also got to know the candidates at a more personal level and what their view is on important issues. This has been Miss Universe Philippines and this is the Game Changer.